Ready for bedtime? <laughs> no! But I am ready for Pokemon Prism walkthrough. Hey guys, I'm Diogen Z, and we are in the dream world. How freaking awesome is this? Just to remind you guys, this was, I believe, 2009 or... No, it was 2010 that this game was created. So, far before Black and White's Dream World came out, they programmed their own Dream World with Kudos Moons from Mario sprites, and random gates, patches of grass with apparently no Dream World Pokemon, too bad, and meditating guys on trees. <laughs> this place is crazy! Oh, wow. And that's... Yeah, wow, that might as well just be Glossolalia he's speaking there. There's no interpreting that. How about you? This good map, I take it, and pretend it is my own. My fans think I work at Square Enix, but they fired me. After I cried like a little baby after hearing a, const a construct complaint complaint for my something. <laughs> it's kind of glitching out now. It's hard to read. It's got like I've and then periods on the end. So apparently that guy doesn't work at Square Enix. That's all I could get from that. Nope. No data from the computer. Are you ready to begin your true Pokemon adventure? What the heck? Where... Are we in the Johto region? That's not saying anything, and there's invisible walls everywhere. What kind of sick and twisted dream world- What the fuck are we in? Oh man, Elm's lab is just transparent. Might as well be a grass tile, what the heck? Ugh, so I'm guessing this is just an invisible maze, really, to get to you. Greetings, what? No, I'm not a pallet patroller. In fact, I don't even exist. Yeah, you are lucid dreaming, and you you subconsciously created me a mere few minutes ago. How did I now? What role am I in your dream? Well, you understand the main problems this region of Naljo faces. You and your Pokemon have the power to restore this nation to its somewhat former glory. <laughs> former. How do I know that? You made me. So how do you know that? That region came from problem-free, right? Naljo was problem-free in the past. Guess what happened? Corruption. Greed. Desperation. Or desperation. Depression. <laughs> Be more specific. But that's all you know. You told me this. Your region could be next as well as the other regions that lie around. What do you mean, greed, ruin, now, Joe? Mmm, lots of conflict in this area. I'm gonna eat! Nom nom nom! Don't forget what I've told you. You can be a hero. You will find out and understand everything soon enough. Trust me. As in, trust yourself. Blech! That was delicious! Oh, Belch, why did I say blech? Anyway, no more dreams for me for at least a week. I guess Gengars eat like boa constrictors. They eat a large rodent and then digest for about a week. Alright, everybody. Let's blow this bone stand. And explore the rest of this prism beta. Okay, so I don't believe we can head out any further, can we? Yeah, I checked all the uh, outposts. There are, yeah, there's nothing you could do there. There are just guards there. So let's head back to Naljo, our own region, and see if we can be heroes like our own subconscious suggested. Ah, that's gonna be a really interesting plot twist. All we know evil-wise that exists in Naljo is the Pallet Patrollers, and I highly doubt that they're the 
supreme evil, corruption, greed, and such that turned Naljo, or is turning Naljo, into a non-happy place. This tree can be cut. Want to use cut? So whoosh! Use the cut. Now, just so you people know, this is kind of out of sync footage that you're seeing. What this is, is before we went to Gangar's Manor to free everyone from bad dreams. And uh, before, if you recall, the gym leader was talking about bad dreams. He's talking about it now because this is before we did it. So, uh, the reason I came here is just to show you that after you defeat Gangar's illusion, you work through his maze, uh, you can battle this electric type gym leader. The problem is though, his Pokemon are all in level 30. Some even in the high 30s, like 35, 37 I'm talking. And right now, my levels are like 20, 25 at the max. This game needs to definitely work on gaining experience points easier. Now whether it's some kind of versus seeker, or some kind of building trainers can go to at different times or something like that to battle trainers and gain experience points, that would be great. But as it stands now, there is just not enough experience, and I don't want to spam wild Pokemon either while holding the fast forward button, there is not enough comfortable experience points to be gained in order to get to this next area. Now of course this is in beta. And there are a lot of things to unlock, there are a lot of things to still be programmed. So, we may have gone even a little out of sequence, and there are things that we have just completely missed, because it's not fully programmed in the game. I'm not sure, but this is just my overall recommendation that I've noticed about the game. Now if you recall earlier in this walkthrough, I also was talking about making some rings, POWER RINGS, out of different evolution stones. And this guy pretty much gives you the, uh, as he says himself, 411, he gives you the lowdown on how you can get yourself some luxurious rings for, I guess, your Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it's an attachable item. I'm guessing that it's supposed to power them up. But uh, I've never, not once found a evolution stone, I believe. Maybe I found a moonstone once, I, I can't even recall. But I did test it, uh, I don't have enough, at least, to make any rings. And this seems like a very cool element. This game, Prism, overall seems to be going in a mining type direction. Uh, they have the mining pick tool, which unfortunately I was not able to use for some reason. I thought I had it in my inventory, but when I double checked, it wasn't there. So who knows what's up with that, maybe it's still glitchy, but they have that mining mechanic where you can get rare metals from the earth and uh, you can carve your way through, find fossils, get them restored at the scientists, and also do this cool thing with ring making. It's a really interesting different dynamic. See here's all the different rings you can make out of the different stones, so dawn stone, dusk stone, moon stone, and etc. But it's really cool to motivate players to go out and try something completely new, all for the sake of making some new items and things. I think it's a very good idea. And Suit Sack makes me think we're going to run into some volcanic area. And sadly, guys, this is where the walkthrough comes to a standstill. Unfortunately, this is as far as I can go in the 2010 beta for Pokemon Prism walkthrough. If this game updates, let me know. Send me a link that is non-virused and uh, let me know what the updates are so I can keep playing this game. I thought this was an excellent beta, and I'd love to see more.